between John Harmon's loft layout, the one with no name, and I'm going to run the, the new Hornby HST125 Class 43, was it Locomotive Services Limited Midland Pullman, the full set. Well, it's, in the, it's in the platform at the minute and it only just fits. It's a nine carriage job. All right. I'll zoom in on it down here. Where is it? It's long, isn't it? All right. Oh, I can have a look at it. This is a DC layout, by the way. So there is no sound. Oh, I'll fit sound at some time, probably. But they're expensive enough to start with at the minute. If I run it along. Yes, I think the coaches are all in the correct order. There's a diagram on the boxes as they come to show you which order the train goes in. Yeah. Where are we? Not to trip over your lead. Alright, so we've already done a video of this local, haven't we? I think with an inky nonk train. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what I didn't show on the original one, I think, was a fan. So, because it's DC, you can't show them running. Oh, they do run. That's too close. There we go. Alright. We'll zoom back out here and. Like that. And then you can see how big this thing is, like that. Alright, so unlike the Backman original Blue Pullman, uh, which had a power car at each end, as in a, a motor in their model at each end, the Hornby one does not. And this end here is the non powered end, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so it's going to be pulling around this layout because there are two inclines. I only thought there was one, but I just realised there's two, one in each direction. And at some point we're going to be pulling and pushing and going round bends. There's the incline, one of them anyway. And the other one's down the back. Which you can't really see, it's in that, where that dark grey line is over there. Which happens to be the wall, hard to realise. Right, okay then, John, if you get a going in and we'll see how this thing performs. Oh, and by the way, I've removed, I've replaced all the coach couplings with Hornby's magnet, magnetic ones that they provide with the coaches. But strangely, they don't provide them with the locomotives. So the locomotive ends are still, um, what are they called? I'm always forgetting it. I habitually forget what they're called. John, what are they called? Tension lock. Tension lock. Why can't I never remember that? Ever remember that? All right. Up over your head. Now, what are we going on now? Oh, I'm just through the station again. Just keeping up with this. I mustn't do this too quick because it looks terrible on the video. Right. Are you going to go up or down an incline next? I'll take it into the. Uh... Right. Fiddle yard. Again. Fiddle yard. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you've got to set set the points up, haven't you, or something? Can I get round here? As you touch your many points, <coughs> touch them, set them, shall I say? I'm always doing that. I'm going to do it as it comes past, like this. That's it. You don't want to go too fast when doing this. It just gets terrible. Oh, it's speeding up again, don't you? I just have it with derailing when you do that. There's a voltage surge on this corner somewhere. Oh, it, oh, it did it alright anyway. That time. Oh, he's right, stopping it up there then. Where are we? I'm trying to find it. Oh, it's big enough. Uh, 
Alright, while well, you set it up. I'll just have to put that back. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I said they were. Yeah. Oh, I need to set the points to go up the gradient as well. Yeah. Oh, you have to do electrically click them, don't you? <laughs> Health and safety nightmare up here, mate. <laughs> With holes in the in the floor as well, aren't they? <laughs> right, where are we going? Are we going up? We're going up, aren't we? Or yeah, down? Oh, we know we have to be going up because we're up the low, lower level, aren't we? Alright, let's have a look. <clears throat> Get over here and see what happens. So right, remember we're pulling. So this tests the couplings under tension. Yeah. Where is it? Yeah, it'll suddenly appear. There she comes. Alright, let, let it go past so you can see the whole thing. Yeah, most of it anyway. Yeah. No sweat. That one up there, a treat. What what power rating was that, John? It's got taking about eight volts. Well, as in full power on your controller. Yeah, full power on the controller. Right, yeah. but it's only eight volts for some reason. So that was no sweat whatsoever. Plenty of power on this thing for quite a long, heavy train. So maybe Hornby were right. They don't need a power car at the other end. Going downhill now. Oh, have to slow it up, slow it down yeah, for the bend. You can see the lights. No, there's only three. I'm not sure what's meant. Right, you can probably go at the end and do a reversing job up the hill just to prove it. That it doesn't have buffer lock or does. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's on. Oh. Oh, what's happened there? Well, it hasn't derailed or anything. Oh. Forgot about that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, are you going to push it back, back up the hill then? Yeah, let's just take it into the stop and then go back again. Alright. Make sure we're all together. That is a long old train, isn't it? Let's hang on, while we're there, let's have a look at that, like, like I spotted earlier. Ow. Is the real coat the dining? Is it? Was it called the kitchen car? Yeah. Mm. That, as you should be able to see with a under 4K filming, hopefully that's what it is. But Hornby have um, blanked the white the windows out to make that all white, and we want to know if it's the real one like that, or is it all sheet metal? I don't know. Let's see. See. Right. Well, now we're going to push these couplings, which are very close couplings. Can you see them? How close together they are. I'm obviously not talking to you, John. I'm talking to a potential audience. <laughs> well, we know what it's like. Right. This appears around there. That didn't sound right, did it? Something is off. I'll pause it for a minute. Right, we're filming. Now, not too sure why it came off just under there. Ooh, can we get down there? It's just the sheer number of couplings. Managed to bend without seizing oh, Does that come off? No, no, no. no. We hear a, ra a rattly that. noise if it did. There's a little jump there, but... That's just a joint. No, they're all making a click. Yeah, there is a... Yeah, it's a jump. I saw it. So it's a bit of track that needs attention. I don't suppose the camera saw it, but... Anyway. Yeah, I'll go up and over Oh, that here. one's off. Is it? Yeah. Anyway, is that to do with... Uh, the couplings or just your no, track? It's just the track. Right. Just making that clear. Because <laughs> it's actually done rather well so far. Considering I've got new technology, or well, new to me anyway. Never used magnetic couplings before in my life. So I'm impressed so far. Where are we? Yeah. So when, right. I, when I lift the top off, I'll have to uh, attend right. to that. But it's not really designed to run in in this direction, so. Well, and we're going up hill now as well. Yeah. And round a bend. So it's up slightly under more load. Mm -hmm. 
doesn't look much uphill from the camera's point of view. It's only on uh, quarter speed at the moment. Quarter speed? Oh, right, increasing the speed. That's well, not bad for quarter speed then if it's pushing it uphill. Oh, no. We've got a voltage that, drop there's there. that voltage drop there. It's mm -hmm. only slowed down, hasn't it? But it keeps going all right. And what speed are you on now? Uh, well, it's full speed, but there was a voltage drop. So oh, it's full speed. That something bit. must be switched yeah. over that's causing a little. It certainly train. goes up the other way faster, and it does this way, doesn't it? But, mm. So if you can get your voltage drop sorted out, I suppose. Yeah, it's probably a switch somewhere. There we go up here. Uh, draining a bit of current off, a bit of voltage drop. Oh. Oh, that should show how close together those cu couplings are. On the... There's a clicky noise. I'll stop it when it's on straight. Let your eyes go funny watching that. Well, that worked all right. Uh, the, the locos definitely c uh, can d uh, do it. It's found limitations in your layout, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. On the voltage drop, it's doing it great, pushing and pulling. Right, yeah, take it into the station then. And oh, right. okay. I'll, well, um, if, uh, yeah, I'll have to or is there, other, is there something else we, no, we no. should do? No, that's what we do yeah. and, uh, and of course, with magnetic couplings, it's a piece of cake to take them apart. You don't need funny tools like this yellow thing down here to. Like that hockey stick thing to lift the tension locks up. Oh, they just come apart. So that's a, a boom. Good old word that is. There we going downhill now. Yeah, we'll slow it down the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, it'll suddenly lurch otherwise. Ooh. Careful, I'll bolt my head on your light bulbs. Should go through at that speed, right? That's the amount of points there are under there. It's dodgy, isn't it? Ooh. Yeah, but can't bring it around into the station, can they? Yeah. Well, have you got to reset it all up again to get into the station? Um, I'm not sure. I might think Ooh. there might be a way of doing it. Um, yeah, I'll was... stop, stop it <laughs> while I go and set it up, though. All right, stop it this there then. And it's the usual parking position and the carriage sidings or whatever they are. Right, just hold it for these. Oh, uh, I will stop what it's set for going up the gradient. Uh, more things to press. Is that it? Yeah. How many controllers you got to control this layout? I've got four. Okay. It's possible to switch in another two, but um, I, I haven't, any, haven't got any more, so... Uh, will it go into the station where we've just planned it to go? I'm not sure how the switching is. It's platform on. three, is it? Flat, flat, well, road three, I mean, Which yeah. is... Hopefully. There's my finger. <coughs> that one, hopefully. Here it comes. <coughs> will it, will it, will it, will it? Ooh, wiggly, wiggly. Why has it stopped? Ah, Another bit you forgot to set. I'm not sure. I'm, I don't normally do that this. That does look strange. Ah, Uh-oh. The sudden stop. Is, uh... is it? No, oh, it's still going. Ah, so now what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's number three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to do it on the blue controller. Blue controller? Not the blue cow. Anyone knows that children's program? Mm. Uh. <laughs> Don't tell me I've told you to do something <laughs> you're not used to doing, aren't I? Haven't I? Oh, here she goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Ah. Lurchio.
Not the most elegant of stops there. <laughs> but now you can see how close can we get to this? Well, most of the carriages look very much the same, don't they? I suppose. Let's walk along. You can see the bogies. Well, they're there anyway. Of course, they're black, aren't they? They don't show up too well. Very different walking and doing a nice, sm smooth. One of those gimbal things of professional use is coming in here. The kitchen car. Class 47 in the background. Right, zoom out like this. Try to. 